Well, Bobby, the crowd back, a goal against the champions. It was nearly a great day, but it still a very good one. Yeah, I think there's, there's positives to take. Um, the man that was really conceded a goal in the last, I think maybe 10 minutes was a bit frustrating, but the lad stuck in there, and I think it was a positive performance. Tell us about the goal. Lovely, pure strike of the football, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice awareness from, from Ade to, um, to slip me in there, and I just thought get my touch correct and, and hit a clean strike, you never know what can happen. And what's it like, because it's been a little while and you've scored a few this season, for it to hit the net and then just to hear the roar. Yeah, it was nice even coming out for the warm-up, just hearing the fans clap and, and the atmosphere coming out. It was nice and, and put smiles on all our faces. So we knew that we had to work hard and give them something to cheer about. Did it help you through when it got tough, when Liverpool started to crank it up in the second half? Yeah, I think it did. Um, it gave us a boost, definitely. And the lads just stuck in there and, and we we're, were pleased to take a point. You just feel like a couple might have gone against you, penalty calls in both halves? I haven't seen, I think I ain't seen the one on us. Um, but it is what it is. We just got to carry on playing the game and, and stick in there like we did. It's looking good, isn't it, in terms of the form right now? You're competing with some of the very best teams in the world. Yeah, no, we're doing well. Um, we know what quality we've got in our dressing room and if we get the other bits right and, and be hard to beat, I think, I think we'll be all right. Well, Scott, so much to be happy about this evening, but just a little tinge of disappointment as well. I suppose we're a little bit disappointed. Um, I suppose I just said to the lads there, it shows how far we've come because last three games, Leicester away, they beat us. They, I think they went top of the league. Leicester, we got a result. Man City, OK. And then today against a, a team that we all know their quality. I thought first half we was excellent. I thought everything we worked on to a man, players executed. And we was top top draw, and maybe, maybe you, you probably need another one to go in really because second half the game's always going to change around a little bit. The quality of player you're up against, the way the, the way you, the game's going to pan out, and there's no denying we had to we had to swallow it up a little bit second half. But even in saying that, I thought we looked solid, uh, committed performance. I think more importantly to that is like I've just said to the team there, quality. I want a team that just come here today and worked hard and showed grit and showed determination and a spirit about us, which we understand we need. I think first half it was clear for everyone to see that some real quality about us today, which would please me a lot. So what did you do then in that early part of the match to unsettle them, to get on top? I think we just put them under a lot of pressure. We, you know, we, un we understood that the, the game, we understand what we was playing against, nullify their threat in behind. They're an intent team. They, they're, they're a very different team to Man City, what, what are Man City last week. They're a team that always looked to threaten in behind. We tried to reduce that space, back line, in terms of dropping and when not to. And then in possession, cause them one or two problems. I thought Cavalero first half, played down the sides of the pitch, you know, playing to their, into where they want you to play into, into central areas where they're looking to, to obviously put a lot of pressure on and counter from there and their three attacking players and we used the sides of the pitch very very well and um, I think uh, yeah I think that was a, the major major factor of why we, we did so well in the first half. What part did the crowd play today? Big part yeah big part felt the atmosphere before the game players come in before the warm-up and 2,000 fans here today but my god they were right behind this team and they showed the spirit they showed the the level of commitment, what we're going to need. They showed that, what I, what I speak to the players about constantly, that during these times this year, when it when the going gets down, you need to show real real fight and real spirit. And, and the fans, they epitomised that today, and that, that was pleasing. So in the first half, it looked like you were going to be given a penalty. Yeah. Then in the second half, you conceded one. Yeah. Thoughts on those big decisions? Uh, for me, I, I just see the penalty. It looks like a penalty. It, look, it looks like, I don't know what the defender was, it looks like he's hit his foot for then the ball to go out for a corner. He's not got his foot first onto the ball and kicked it out for a corner. What amazes me even more is I understand that he's, he's not given that decision. He's then been referred to VAR, which obviously they've asked him to do that. He's then gone up to the screen. I don't know how much more help you need and um, can clearly see that his foot's made contact with Cavalier and that's why the ball's on that. So, yeah, I, I was amazed really that there wasn't a penalty given really, but it is. That's what it is.